Hi guys, welcome back to our videos. Welcome to a home learning series. For all you kids who have been in lockdown from the COVID-19 or coronavirus, we're gonna have four activities that we're gonna be doing with you. Reading, writing, maths, and a creative activity. Luckily for us, our uncles that film our videos are both primary teachers. So they're gonna help set our tasks. We're gonna be doing the activities with you guys. We'll show you how to send your work to us later on in the videos. So you can feature in our next episode. So let's get started. Today for our writing task, we're gonna be watching a video and writing the end of it. We're gonna be focusing on using our adjectives. What's an adjective? An adjective is a describing word. Like small or big? Yeah, those are great describing words. If you're a little younger, but if you're in their our sort of age group, then you'll probably be using like big adjectives, gigantic or colossal even. Oh, okay. Okay. The story is called Best First Day Ever. It's on the TKI website. The link is in the description below. Now let's go watch the video. Wow, so cool. <laughs> I'm ready to write now. <laughs> there we go. Everybody stood frozen in shock. Some gasped, others squealed. A teacher fainted. William flipped up the secret panel on the arm of his wheelchair and yelled, Out of my way! I'm coming through! We interrupt this program with breaking news. An elephant has escaped from the traveling circus. Police advise people to be careful. It was William's first day at his new school. He wanted to make a good impression, but he didn't know how. Whoa, that's dangerous. He could hurt someone. He could hurt himself too. Out of my way, I'm coming through. What? Water cannons, <laughs> engage. Water. Yeah! Whoa. Oh, he's peeing. <laughs> an elephant. Help! The elephant is going to destroy the whole playground. Sorry, got some things. What happened next? Let's go find a spot to write. Like right there. <laughs> done with our 30 minutes worth of writing and I'm going to read my one out first. The humongous elephant sat dazed looking at the damage it had made. William drove quickly into his class and grabbed the pet mice out of the cage. He brought them outside and stared at the massive creature for a minute and snapped back to reality and held the pet mice in front of the elephant's wrinkly face. It scared the elephant back to its enclosure. Bravely he drove back to school and the crowd swarmed around him and cheered loudly as if he had won a big golden trophy. From that day on he wheeled into school feeling proud and like a hero. William loved his first day at school. The end. I thought I thought it sounded like an actual like book, like it could be made into an actual book. Then William set his hovering wheelchair to strong suction cup mode and picked up the huge and heavy elephant and takes it to the zoo smoothly. Next, he rushes back. After that, he fixes the colorful playground with a screwdriver, nails, and a hammer. He got that stuff from his wheelchair on build mode. And just like that, he fixed the problem in 30 minutes. The end. Now, it's your turn to write. So use lots of adjectives, just like me and Ava did. And comment <laughs> down below who did the best Story. No, and don't, don't. Who said to do that? Me. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the director here? Me. And now <laughs> 30 minutes starts now. Go, guys. For my 
guys, today we're going to show you how to use a website called Prodigy. It's a free website, you just need your parents to help you make an account. The link is in the description below. Let's go play. Which of the following is a rectangle? Uh, this one. Really? I did not know that. Okay, let's just hurry up. Correct. Boom. Yeah, yeah, one. What did I earn? What did I earn? Oh, <gasps> coins. Oh, what's that? Oh, la la. You got something. Oh, that's so cool. I've never seen this before. If you can't read the questions, then you can click on this little speaker button right here and it will read you it. Complete the statement using less than, greater than, or equals symbol. First you're gonna click on the idea button and then you can. If you're also stuck on the question, you can click the hint button and it'll give you a hint. Remember, this symbol means less than. This symbol means greater than. If you need to work anything out, and then you can use the colors and draw on it. This. And if you make a mistake, then you can just rub it out. Now we're gonna get started on our reading activity. Our uncle made up a story for us to read to you and we've written some comprehension questions for you to answer. Jess stared expectantly out of the window, eagerly waiting for her cousin Ava to arrive. Jess's dad had told her that Ava was coming to stay for a few weeks. Why can't she stay with her parents? Jess asked inquisitively. Jess's dad explained that because her parents are doctors, they still needed to work and they didn't want Ava to get sick from them. So they don't have to stay inside for two weeks like everyone else? Jess asked. They do, but... They are allowed to go to work because people still need their help at the hospital, Jess's dad reassured. Car brakes screeched and Jess turned her head to see a silver car pull into the driveway. She clambered onto the couch to get a better view. She saw Ava unsuccessfully trying to heave her enormous purple bag over her shoulder. Even from inside the house the thud could be heard as it collided with the concrete. Ava's dad rescued the poor bag and placed it on the porch before kneeling down to talk to Ava, whose eyes were now filled with tears. She couldn't make out what Ava's dad was saying to her. Let them talk, called Jess's dad as he motioned her to move away from the window. A few moments later, Jess heard a faint knock on the door. She sprinted to the door and was surprised to find the typical bubbly, smiley face of her cousin. Not a single tear in sight. What are we doing today? Ava asked excitedly. So now we have some comprehension questions you need to answer. Number one, why did Ava's eyes fill with tears? Number two, what color was Ava's bag? Three, how many weeks was Ava coming to stay at Jess's house for? Question four, what do you think Ava's dad said to Ava? In paragraph 2, it says that Jess clambered onto the couch. What is another word you could use instead of clambered? How would you feel if you had to spend a few weeks with your cousin without seeing a parent? Now we're up to my favourite bit, the creative challenge. Every episode, we're going to give you a creative challenge to do. Today's challenge is a photography challenge. For our photography challenge today, you're going to get your favourite toy and take a photo of it going on a little adventure in your house. Could be in your backyard, in your house, going for a swim in the bathtub, anywhere. You don't need to use a camera. You can just use a phone, an iPad, a computer or anything you can take a photo with and send it to us. We're going to give ourselves 20 minutes. We're going to show the most creative shots sent to us in our next video. So I'm going to use my iPad to take photos with and I'm going to use my uncle's phone. Our 20 minutes start now. Okay guys, so I had this idea since cars drive along the road as we all know. I'm going to get our yellow chalk and draw lines along our concrete and I think they'll work 
I just need to find the tool, so let's go. Okay guys, the time has finally come to share our photos. Oh! oh my gosh, that looks so good. That looks cool. Wow. So I was kind of going for a haunted house kind of look. Because at first I was thinking like Wally would be running away from the house, like from his house. But then I thought, I realized that Jizzy pay her to some other ones like the ghost one and the pumpkin one. So I decided to make a haunted instead. Okay, I can't choose which one's better so we'll get people to vote. I like Ava's one because she used the black background which was super clever. And she used some props to help her but I really like how low you your one looks almost like a real life-size car with the way you took the photo just so... I just I like Ava's because it's like, it's like unreal. It's like a cartoon sort of thing. We look forward to seeing your toy pictures and seeing how you did compared to us. Thanks for joining us in our first episode. Upload your work so we can put it in the next video in the link below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Bye bye. Yay! Goodbye!